Hello everybody and welcome back to Banished. I know it's been a little while, but we are now back and we're ready to sort of rock and ruin, as they say. Um, right, so we've got some people over here. They're getting rid of all of the iron and stone, I assume. Yep, looks like the stone as well. Well, we've got plenty of iron, but not too much stone. And then we've got this region over here, which definitely needs to be built. Well, we're getting a few more gathering huts in. And next to it, we're going to put some stone houses, and hopefully this will kind of boost the food output because it has been dropping steadily by about a thousand each year. We're definitely not taking in as much as we were, I think, because of the sheer amount of population that we're getting now. It's we've been building very steep population-wise, and haven't really been doing too much in the food area. We've also got this region up here that needs forest in. And I was going to go for a a lot of forest lodges because I wanted to try and increase the amount of wood that we're getting through. I also feel that fishing could be another way of getting a bit more food, but these ones don't seem to have as much, because they don't have as much of their ring in the water, they don't seem to be as effective as just say this one here, which gets pretty much consistently 1,500, and the same with this one, which is actually over 1,500 last year. So these two are definitely really good. There probably should be a fishing lodge here, somewhere there. In fact, I might have a little look at that now and see how that'll work. Something like that, I think, could do the trick there. We'll pause that, we'll get rid of that, and uh, we'll just link it up to the road that is somewhere around here. We'll just link it up like that, that'll be okay. Right, how is the stone going in this place? Right, we're at 69% remaining. And it's not doing too bad, 200 a year. It could be doing better, I suppose. But we, we did take some people out of that, I think. Because we ran out of kind of labourers at one stage. Mainly a case of just managing at the moment what we've already got laid down. And managing the actual removal of a lot of this stuff. In fact, I'm going to say cancel... all of this around here and I may just have them collect up the stone because we will need that for stone houses but for now oh wait, I've actually built that one there so we need an extra do we need an extra amount of people in that or did I already set that up I think I already set that up didn't I where are the uh, gatherers ah oh, here we go so does that mean we have 21 of 28, or we're using 21 of 28? Not too sure about that. But everyone seems... they all seem to have three still in them, don't they? So... That's... Oh no, um... I think they should all have three within them. Check over here. Right, so by doing that though, we're running low on labourers, aren't we? That's not too bad though, it's not too much of a problem. So we've got two gatherer huts up here now built. They're all paused, we'll, put, we'll keep them paused for a little while. We'll take that down to being three only. And I think we may. I'm tempted to hold off on building any houses for now, although the trouble with this is that they've got a very long way to walk, these guys. A very long way to walk, look at this. Which means they're probably taking, yeah, housing away from these people. What about this one here? Yeah, see, all of these ones now have to walk quite a long way to get to wherever they want, because we're taking up resources, like housing resources, for these ones over here. Which isn't ideal, which isn't exactly what I wanted to happen. So it may be worth our while to actually get at least one house built over here. And one house built over here. If I set that to priority, I don't think they'll be doing anything anyway. They're probably building the roads at the moment, aren't they? How's the farms doing? We had all, yeah, we had all four of these working, didn't we? 
we just wanted to get in a, a big boost of food, but I don't think that really happened. And we had, oh, of course we had that one working as well, didn't we? We're going to turn... We're going to turn two of them off next season. Right, let's see what the trader guy has. Right, what can we actually trade? Firewood? We got Yeah, we're doing okay on the firewood front, aren't we? Right, ale. That's got a value of eight. So ale we can put 400 units in. To be honest, if we did 1,000 firewood and we just brought in... Oh, there are seeds actually. So we could buy in a set of, another set of seeds to get a little bit of extra for our diet. What about coal actually? If we brought in 300 coal, how much is that? So we're overpaying by it, so I could get coal and then chestnut seeds and then just get a little bit of food for good measure. Not too sure about that. I, I kind of feel like I'm a bit worried about the amount of food we have. Yeah, I'll tell you what, let's, let's get the coal and the pumpkin seeds. Let's do that. And make sure in here, get rid of this because we do not want to put that amount of firewood back in. And ale, where's the ale gone? We're not really producing any of that now anyway, are we? So, in fact, let's take the guy off of the ale barn. How are the schools doing? That one, 17, 20, and 20. Okay. So they should be building these very soon. The trouble with these ones is they've got to walk a very long way from any stockpile. The nearest stockpile is this one, and it doesn't really have any stone within it. Stone is definitely a resource that is primarily situated somewhere around here. Up here, isn't it? Look at this. I'm not sure what I was going to use this for. Maybe another pasture? I mean, we do have a lot of pastures. I could... Actually, that's a good idea. I could temporarily just cut the chickens back to 50, like half in each area, so 15 in there, we'll just say 15 in there as well. This one, I mean, we get a lot of meat from this one, cut that back down to 31, and cut that down as well to 10. If I do that, we'll have a little, we'll have a quick sort of boost of food coming in. Right, so we've got 10 cows in there, and then we've got 8 cows in there. Right, let's take that down to 4 cows, and 4 cows respectively. And hopefully that will give us a slight increase in the food. How are our barns doing now? Right, so 90, 40, 30. Right, so we've kind of taken the strain off of the barns. These two are completely superfluous now. They're, they're not needed at all. Um, and this one as well. This one still gets used. But well, this one I suppose does get used for um, the chickens and stuff so that's okay. We'll keep that. Children are getting born all the time. Constantly being born. How are you doing with these houses guys? Come on. Alright, I'll tell you what. Instead of splitting your resources build one house first. Build the nearest house first. Right, have we got builders on there? Yeah, we've got builders on there. Because I was actually going to turn this bit up here, I think, into a sort of a, a bigger kind of village. They're still... Why are they still coming out here? Oh god, we've still got stuff going on up there. We don't want any of that being that's why they're not doing anything. They're still for some reason mining that stuff over there. Yeah, we don't want you to go do that, guys, okay? We want you to get down to the house and build 
this beautiful stone cottage next to the gathering hut there because that's going to help your your bellies it's going to fill you up stop you from starving coal's already gone down by a significant amount not really too much of a surprise so that one does coal that one does iron iron is a really nice resource we're doing quite well with that these days right, farming wise we're doing okay we'll farm these two next and we'll do some did I not get pumpkin seeds or pumpkins for this? I could have sworn that I got pumpkin seeds oh well let's just do potato and wheat here that'll be next season we'll shut two of these off and we'll we'll activate this one this one could be squash let's put the limit back up again let them grow just don't want to get them into a situation like last time where they just keep dwindling their numbers constantly until there's zero left. Why on earth if they put this meat here? There's a barn right here, look. I mean, I know it's a little bit of a walk, but you, you can't be too lazy, guys. I mean, we can't just shove a barn right next to every single location that you need to visit. That market as well. Definitely, this one definitely takes the majority of the food, even though it's got the least amount of houses there. Although maybe that's why, maybe the houses take it a lot quicker from here. I like a little dip that goes down there. <laughs> You'd think it would just con connect normally across. It doesn't actually go over the buildings, but it goes into the mine. A bit peculiar. How are they getting on with this house over here now? 2% so they've removed an extra tree. It is a long way. It's, there's got to be some kind of way that we can get resources over here, apart from actually mining the resources out from over here. Although actually, perhaps that isn't a bad idea. Maybe a storage stockpile thing up here. 10 by 10. They can get rid of that. Then they can mine all the stone out of this place and use that specifically for the stone houses. Maybe I'll get them to chop some logs down within here and that will help them build all of this region here so okay the people have spoken and I shall answer there is a stockpile for you guys go create that now I wonder how the huts are actually doing these days though see they're all they're doing as good as they've always been doing although maybe we need Yeah, we need 30. Right. Got loads of labourers now. Loads of them. Which means this stockpile should be created fairly quickly. Yeah, they're doing a good job on that. And then I'll get them to collect the stone. Can't just... Just a few more... Well, just one more tree, a herb, and to take the resources away, guys. In fact, you don't even need to take the resources away. Just put them outside, let it create, and put them back in again. Ah, they've actually... Oh, that's a bit silly. They've actually done quite well. Look, they've brought resources. They must have been bringing them. Oh, well, we might as well have the builders actually finish that one now. Yes, right, that's it, that's it, done. Well, let's... Right, click the stone. First we collect that stone and that stone. And I will also get you to chop a little bit of forest down. Not too much, just... Just in here. if we're going to do it like that we might as well just say don't collect that stone there collect the forest there and collect the stone there 
start filling that stockpile up a little bit. How are you getting on, builders? Alright, you got to get there first, haven't you? Of course you have. I apologise for rushing you. Once we get one house built, hopefully labourers will be able to live in that house while they build all the other ones. I think that's kind of how it works. Alright, they've reached their limit again with this. Let's put, in that case, let's put some firewood. Let's say 400. And we'll start building that up again. How's ale? We don't have any ale, do we? We do. 59. Okay, well, we'll put in 40 in there as well. Where did that come from? Is no one drinking it? Because I turned this off, didn't I? Unless I've got another one somewhere that I don't realise. Not sure where the tavern is. Brewer. Of course it is. Okay guys, I think I'm going to call that the end of this episode. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.